Hi, this is Racetech. Today, we're gonna talk about budget-friendly smart home and where you can start. The beginnings of a smart home are becoming increasingly common in households nationwide. Starting with the smart speakers, the idea is simple. With even affordable smart home devices, allow homeowners to control appliances, thermostats, lights, and other devices using your voice, your smartphone, or without having to do anything at all through an internet connection. That makes your home more customizable, more automatic, and more convenient. And if you are wondering, where are you going to start? Maybe you really like the idea of turning on your lights with your voice. So you can start with a smart speaker and some smart lights. Or you want to turn your old TV to smart TV, but you don't have budget for that. You can get a Google Chromecast instead. The easiest and least expensive way to get into the smart home is to start small which is an item or two and grow from there. It really depends on what you need. For me, I started my smart home with smart plugs. This device is small and compact as well as affordable. So it's the ideal place to begin your smart home project. You simply plug them into your outlets and let you run small appliances through your smartphone wherever you are or with your voice. Then the Smart Universal IR Remote Control. This infrared smart remote control can change your traditional device into smart devices into smart gadget. At the same time, it turns your mobile phone into all-in-one universal Wi-Fi RR blaster. With Alexa or Google, you can easily voice control your devices. Hey Google, turn on the air conditioner. Okay, turning on the air conditioning. Voice assistants are also a great buy early in your smart home journey. In my opinion, there's nothing better than being able to control your lights, air conditioner, and TV with your voice. But for me, I didn't have the urge to buy a smart speaker when I was starting to build my smart home. Because I have an old smartphone lying around my house, so I temporarily used that as our voice assistant to control my smart devices. However, since my smart devices are getting bigger, I needed one in my living room. What I got is a Google Home Mini. The reason why I chose Google is because I already have a Google Chromecast at home, which I use to turn my old TV into a smart TV, and it's also cheaper than Alexa. Google Chromecast is a unique device that plugs into any TV or monitor with an HDMI port and can stream content from your phone or computer onto the big screen. Now I can play movie using my phone or using voice command. My next purchase were smart switches since we have a lot of lights in our house. Though I went with the cheaper ones to stick on my budget, which is Tuya Wi-Fi smart switch. Please note that this device requires connection to the main power supply. You should not attempt to install this product yourself. If you are unfamiliar with how to safely wire an electrical device to the main electrical circuit, then I bought smart bulbs. There's much more you can do with smart lights other than turning them off or on. Set the mood in any room with smart lighting features like dimming and color ambience. And you really can schedule your lights based on your preferences. Get a wake-up call at 7 a.m. with your lights automatically turning on with gradual adjustments. For example, at 10 p.m., make your lights out. Or maybe your lights dim in the early evening to help you wind down. Next smart device that I really like in my smart home is the smart PIR motion sensor. Basically what it does is when motion sensors detect movement in a selected area of your home, they can send you an alert, trigger a siren, or turn other connected devices such as lights on or off, based on motion or lack of it. I have three motion sensors in my house right now. One in my living room so whenever we arrive home, all the lights and other devices will turn on based on the setup that we want. One in our stairs so when someone walks on the stairs, the light will turn on and automatically turns off if there has no motion detected. And one in our dining area. As you can see, you don't need to spend a lot of money to turn your house into a smart home. Of course, there are other high-end products with better quality, but way more expensive. However, in my opinion, if you're just getting started and you don't want to spend huge amounts of money, you don't need to buy everything at once. 
Start with a couple of devices and you'll find yourself learning which kinds of integration are most useful to you. Think of the things that you really need rather than just grabbing every device you can get your hands on. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment down below and give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to this channel. My name is Renato Rocabo and this is Raise Tech.